What's good y'all today? We are finally on next gen NBA 2K22 and I think I found a build to completely destroy the meta. Most of the meta guards are like 6'5 below. They want them pro drill moves. They trying to be quick and fast. Most of the centers are undersized. They're trying to get their speed and I have the perfect build to kind of rack that. My Kevin Durant build. Now as you can see we're going to go create a build right here obviously. Now don't judge me. Uh, we do look like Kanye West and not Kevin Durant. I looked on YouTube. There's literally zero KD face creation videos out right now. So if any face creation YouTuber guys are watching this video right now, help a brother out, post the video. I'm trying to look just like KD because right now I look like Kanye. <laughs> I know Donna just dropped. We're trying to look like KD. This is a basketball game. I mean, I guess you can take like a rap story into my career. So I don't, okay, I'm, I'm gonna just stop talking. But yeah, man, we're gonna go power forward position right here because KD is a power forward for the Brooklyn Nets. So that's what we're gonna rock with right here. Hannah, he is a righty. If you wanna go left-handed, it's not KD, but you can do it by all means, go ahead. But I'm gonna go right-handed. Jersey number, we're gonna go number seven, just like KD is IRL. And I mean, it just makes sense, right? So now the height. We're gonna go six foot nine. We're gonna stay here. He's actually listed at six foot ten, but most of his career he was actually listed at six foot nine. And at six foot ten, you don't get all the jump shots, all that good stuff. You kind of have to use like the big man bases. You can't even use like KD's like shit. Like you don't get all the drill moves. There's no real reason to go six foot ten on this game right now. So six nine is the perfect tall height, unless you're trying to be like an actual true big man. We know KD. He's not a traditional big man. He's tall, but he's not a center. Like that's that's not who he is. For the weight, he's actually listed at 240, but he just capped his ass off wherever somebody asked him what his weight is so we're gonna go minimum weight get as much speed as we can get now katie's actual list of wingspan is seven foot five which is insane so we're gonna go up here if you really want you could max it out but i don't really think it's really worth it so i'm gonna go seven foot five body shape i think solid works maybe defined i i think i'll go defined defined kind of works pretty well but as you can see on the right side of your screen bro we have some crazy attributes keep in mind these are not our final attributes if we had this bill with all this stuff on it it would break the game honestly it would probably break the game uh, but nah, 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 nah. We, we, we gonna actually have some caps and restrictions on this build. One thing I do like about this builder, it's a lot more balanced in the previous years because literally the six, seven demigods from next gen on 21 were broken. That was the only build you saw in the game and it was so annoying to go against. But as you guys know, KD is a very good finisher around the basket. He's got his little finesse. He can dunk. He can get some standing dunks. Got a little bit of post, you know, he can do a little bit of everything down low. But our close shot, we're going to get this to a 61, which is not terrible. We're going to get this right here. Boom. As you can see right here. Boom. 61. Driving light, we're going to get this to a 73. And the badges and attributes on this build are very specific. So you're going to have to basically follow step by step what I do. You could probably finesse a little bit once I'm done. But like while I'm going through it step by step, there's, you probably shouldn't have finesse or mess with it too much. Driving dunk, we're going to max it out and go down a little bit to a 84. Because that's literally all you need to get contact dunks in this game. There's a 92 driving dunk contact dunk threshold but we, we're not getting that because like there's no point right like we, we can't even lock them so there's no reason to go here oh and keep in mind there's no plus four once you hit 99 overall you just hit 99 and then your build is complete so typically on current gen and previous 2ks this would go up to an 88 in that case i would have actually upgraded this to a 90 because you probably get some more packages at a 90 but no in this game 84 that's it when you're 99 overall and all that so that's why we stayed there for our standing dunk we're actually gonna get this to a 90 rating i know we get a lot of good standing dunk packages this gives us 22 finishing badges which is actually a lot bro we get rise up actually one thing that's really cool about this you can click triangle and you can view all the badges with the right stick go around and look bro all these badges they don't always take four attributes for hall of fame there's some that take seven some that take five some that take six there's a lot of different badges in this game that are more attribute points which is very interesting so you might have looked at the badge count 22 finishing down we didn't really have that much but it's really different in this game because like i said the badges aren't as like this they're just not the same you know they're just really not the same for our shooting we're gonna max out our midi and our three-pointer we're just gonna drop our midi down too because we still keep our 24 shooting badges now if you want gold hot zone hunter you probably could do this at the end i'll probably try and finesse a way around it to get this 84 instead of the 82 we all know katie's a good mid-range shooter but hey yeah, i don't really know if you need it but hey bro it's up to you you can really do whatever but i just dropped this down too to get more badges in other categories but as you can see look at these badges bro we got a lot of different ones we got rhythm shooter set shooter sniper I'm very excited about this badge. Jump shots taken will slightly early and slightly late timings will receive a boost, while shots with like bad timing will not get a boost, they'll be even worse. 
I really think this adds a skill gap to shooting this year. If you know how to time your jump shot, I feel like with a lower three ball, you will be knocked down. Especially with the 79, you've probably seen 79 like, bro, that's not KD. But with the sniper badge, I honestly think that can make or break a ton of builds. We have lucky number seven, which sounds super cheese this year. It's kind of like clutch shooter, but on every single shot. Odds on Hunter Silver, that's basically enough. You really need, uh, you don't need that much, nothing crazy. Corner spots, just W if you're spotting up, clutch shooter. Most of these badges are normal, but check this out, bro. We get blinders. Blinders is back. I don't know if it's as broken as it was last year, but this badge was insane last year. I haven't really tested out too many crazy badges. I haven't really played in the park yet, so I'm not sure if Blinders is as good as it was last year. We'll just have to figure that out once I upgrade this build and bring them to the park. Now for our playmaking, we're gonna get our passing accuracy to an 80. This gives us a part of the name that I think is pretty dope. It's actually really, really cool that we get the build name here. And we do unlock some nice playmaking badges as well, getting that to an 80. Our ball handle, we're gonna max this out along with our speed with ball. A lot of builds that are taller do not have this ball handle upgraded and i think there's a lot of dribble animation that you do unlock lot once you get that 75 ball handle so it's nice to have that 76 to get some nice dribble animations we don't get the pro dribble moves but we're still able to do a lot of things with a 75 plus ball handle this year and as you see the badges blue hands i'm not really sure if i'm going to be using that badge at all really now we don't unlock ankle breaker but we do get space creator and tight handle so i think we'll be just fine with this build now, i'm not gonna lie bullet passer is a very very essential badge in this game at least last year it was if you didn't have this badge your passes were gonna be in slow motion which is not good you don't want slow motion passes uh we're gonna get dimer floor general quick first step i wish we could get this higher but honestly we're six foot nine and sometimes you just gotta remember that we're really tall this build but now for our defense what we're gonna do we're gonna max out almost everything here which is really really nice we're gonna max our interior defense our perimeter defense our steel our block which goes to a 97 we'll talk about that later we're gonna get our offensive rebound to a 58 right here boom and we're gonna get our defensive rebound to a 84 and just like that bro 26 defensive badges as you can see and just like that 26 defensive badges that is a ton we get hall of fame intimidator which is very 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 rare to see on a build that's not like a main defensive build like this build just has defense as a plus this build is an offensive beast plus we have crazy defense we get chase down hall of fame we get clamps on the perimeter as well we get defensive leader, pickpocket, pick dodger. We can guard the ball. Hustler, I'm not really too sure about. We get menace, rebound chaser, ankle braces. This build really can do it all on all sides of the ball. But now let's get into the fun part, the physicals. A lot of builds that you probably be seeing with all these badges don't really have the physicals upgraded like that. But this build is a little bit different. We actually have a lot of physicals upgraded. We're going to max our speed, our acceleration, our strength. I've actually heard a lot and I've seen it firsthand when I'm testing out this build strength matters you're gonna get dunked on like crazy or body by post scores down low if you do not have strength on your build it's definitely a necessity so i highly highly advise you do upgrade your strength on this build now for our vertical we're gonna get this at a 70 that's what you need to get your small contact dunks i think that's the name of the package you do get your contact dunks on this build we don't get the crazy ones but 70 is what you need now, as you can see we're 98 overall we're basically complete with the build we're gonna just throw the rest on our stamina i actually messed up here we don't need this extra rebounding rating right here we still get 26 so we're gonna actually get this to a 90 but hey one thing you could do you could try and finesse like i said you can try and get your midi up higher get some hot spots and hot zone hunter in there so if you get this to an 83 boom you just get hot zone hunter and then maybe you drop this down even more you can probably finesse a little bit yeah you get this to an 84 if you don't want your stamina it's up to you stamina is really a touchy subject in this game if you got handles for days all those badges last year you didn't really need it at all i had plenty of builds with a 25 stamina but i think a 60 is good enough but hey if you want to play the safe route i would go this back to an 82 maybe an 83 put the rest on your stamina but we're just really experimenting actually i think this is the move bro you don't need that 84 get this to an 83 you still get your hot zone hunter but yeah man that's the complete build when it comes to the badges and stuff now for our takeover we get all the shooting ones the play making ones the lockdown and the rib protector ones and you're probably like bro i want shot creating takeover on my kd build bro no y'all don't understand I'm going to go Limitless Range for the first one. And for the second one, I'm going to go Limitless Range again. And look what pops up. Doubling up will give you twice the impact of the selected ability when the second takeover is activated. And plus, when you get that Mamba Mentality badge, you are able to switch these. But I want to get double Limitless Range. So this build is literally insane. You're going to be pulling from the parking lot. You're going to be pulling from the cruise ship on current gen, bro. Double Limitless Range takeover is definitely going to be the move. I was pulling from crazy deep in the builder. Like a little test badge whatever you call it double limitless range is insane and yeah man let's get straight into the build name as you can see we're gonna complete the build and the name comes out as a two-way playmaker what the fuck i don't know why we get this name but it is definitely a w name we get shades of anthony davis 
Chris Webber, and Pascal Siakam. We don't really need that KD comparison because this build will play just like KD. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed this video and you have success with this build, or if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments what your opinions on this build. If you don't like the build, let me know. If you like it, let me know. I just want to know what y'all think. The builder is new. It's brand new. So if this build doesn't fit your playstyle, there's obviously other builds out there. I'm going to be dropping hella more builds. And yeah, that's basically it for today's video. If you made it to the end of the video, typically what I do, I give my subscribers, the people really route with me, something to comment at the end of my video. And today, we're going to go comment generics because I'm looking at my screen and we just see some generics. So go comment generics if you made it end the video and i'm out i'll catch y'all tomorrow maybe even another double upload today i don't know i'm not really 100 sure yet but yeah i'm gone have a good one peace